Our weekend watch shines a spotlight on government activity, and we've been covering the mass exodus at City Hall. More than a dozen aldermen are not seeking re-election to Chicago City Council. So far, 15 of the 50 council members have either left or announced they'll be leaving. Mayor Lori Lightfoot says if re-elected, she has no plans to change how she deals with the revamped City Council, but some see the resignations as an opportunity for real change. Brian Zaru joins us from the Better Government Association to discuss possible changes to the role. So good morning to you, Brian. Good morning, Mark. Good to be with you. Good to see you again. So are we likely to see any real change in how City Council and the role of an alder person works in Chicago? I think we could. I think uh, the two major things have to happen, I think, for, in order to see a real change. You have to have legislators, new legislators who are going to be elected that want to be legislators. And you need city service departments uh, to be able to track, escalate, and respond quickly um, to complaints. Right now, a lot of uh, people do not call the water department or the sanitation department. They call their aldermen because they see them as someone who can make change quicker. Um, as long as we see those two things change and see legislators see aldermen want to become legislators, I think there'll be a nice massive shift uh, with the way city council operates. Right, because right now they're kind of the people that are that are the first person that you might call in your neighborhood if you have an issue. So what would departments or what departments would have to change to take some of the load off of those ward offices dealing with permits or, you know, for, for home construction yeah. or anything like that? Absolutely. And, and just to b bump back on your point, uh, the city council is the legislative branch of, of city government, and I think people forget that. Um, but in terms of the departments that have to change, I mean, there needs to be some public-facing contact information. Right now, to get a hold of the water department or the sanitation department, um, it's very tough to hold on to. Even if you call that 311 number, you're going through an automated service, you're trying to figure things out, and that's why people get frustrated and they call their aldermen. And aldermen are, are usually, are always mostly responsive because, you know, re-election's right around the corner. So, of course, they're going to take care of the problem quickly. So, as long as those city departments change the way they operate and, and become more public-facing and helping people more, um, I think uh, that that's one thing that needs to change. Mm. And some of the departments that, uh, departing alders, rather, have complained about working with uh, the current mayor. If this exodus, is it driven by, by personality conflicts or is it about changing roles or just decisions saying, you know what, I don't want to deal with this anymore? You know, we've seen many of them running for re-election because they're frustrated with the, with the way the mayor operates. Um, we've always had a strong mayor system, whether it's Mayor Lightfoot, Mayor Manuel, or Mayor Daly. Um, but there are some who have given legitimate concerns over um, uh, personal family problems at home that they need to take care of. Um, and some of them have been around a very long time, 20 plus years. And I think we can't underestimate that a post-pandemic world, um, and not just here in Chicago, but around the country, uh, elected officials, um, it, it was a tough time for them. And I think some of them have seen that frustration. But um, whatever mayor is there, Mayor Lightfoot, it doesn't matter. Um, I think that we would always see turnover, but I think this year especially, uh, it's special because of the pandemic. So uh, we're talking about 15 older persons now. Could there be more? There could be more. Um, we're hearing that there could be one or two more that might not run pre-election. But um, this this makeup of the next city council is going to be interesting. We'll definitely have 15 new people. Uh, but there are some sitting incumbents who are running against people and, and could, you know, if they lose, we can have up to 18, 19, 20 new members of a 50 member city council. Yeah. So that, that would be pretty 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 new right you're talking almost half there so that's that's fascinating okay thank <laughs> yeah. you brian we really appreciate your time this morning and of course appreciate we will it, continue absolutely and we'll continue to follow changes from city council and you can find the latest updates right at abc7chicago.com and the abc7 chicago news app hey if you like that video be sure to subscribe to our abc7 chicago youtube channel